difference. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? We've just been effing and jeffing in there because he's been doing things on his own accord, Tracy. And I've on, been teaching him, haven't he's I? He's on the S23 Ultra. No, S24 Ultra. Ultra so I've only better, got an old S23. By quality. the way, people, this is the phone I... F- phone, f- Come on, spit it out. What's the word? Cut. <laughs> zoom, playing with a Zoom. This is, no, never Zoom, never Zoom. I want to play. Don't, we, we never Zoom. You Zoom in by walking near. You never play about with a Zoom. Right, that's another little tip for you. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Charlie. His phone was showing. His you're not showing, are you? No. Anyway. Right. Do you know what you're doing? I want no, one of them I want, gyroscopic handles. I want one of them gyroscopic handles. Hey, you don't need it, mate. That's the best there is. No, I want a gyroscopic handle. You've got image stabilisation on that phone. You really don't need it, trust me. I want to just be able to, yeah. Do no, that, you don't want to do all that. You'll be surprised how steady that will become. I'm action, man. You say, yo, 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 you <laughs> oh, no, Trace. Let me get past you. I've got to start filming in a minute. Show them that rib of beef we got. Roll There's that roll of rib. This is for dinner. <laughs> oh, God. Guess new game. Guess the price. Zoom, 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 zoom. Guess the price. Zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah, but that's what I'm doing. Guessing the price. So this is Ben's new phone. I thought I'd grab hold of it. We're going to be doing this beef on the beef on the barbecue uh, from my channel. So this is Butler's Empire channel, and uh, we're going to be having that today with some pork. I'm only having the, the meat because I'm on a carnivore diet. They're having all the trimmings. But if you want to see how that's made, pop over to my channel and have a look and you'll see exactly how this meal is going to turn out. Where are we going, guys? Where are we going there for? Um, roll blazing, go kart. Go kart, I'm going on it first. No. Oh, yeah, who's going to fall over first? George! He's going to fall over last. Emma, no, me! I'm, I'm a professional. I'm. Come on! No. Why not? I'm going on this one. Why do you want to go on the big one? They look scary to me. It's not scary. Dad, can you put me back on that one? Maybe I should. <laughs> Did I only want to do the half pipe? <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't do that! Stop laughing, you lot! Stop it! Santa's coming to town! Santa's coming to town! Alright. Dad's in his roller leaves! Please fall. Please fall. Don't grab onto me. That's so cool, guys. Oh, is that? Go, 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 gosh, Dad. Jesus, Dad. <gasps> How is he so good? I need to. We thought we were good. Mum, what's happened to me? How? George. Not taking long. Get back into it, though. I can't do this one. <laughs> <He needs to. laughs> James, do that again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How are you so good, Dad? And you just got on them. How are you so good? And you just got on them. I well, used to years and years ago. Yeah, Dad, you're 38. Look at this beautiful guys. Absolutely fantastic. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? You come in to watch me watch my make my pigs in What are you kids. doing? Well, I um I thought I'd do some extra meat for dinner. So we can have some, the pigs love pigs in blankets, the, the pigs, the kids love pigs in blankets. So I thought I'd make a cheeky, a few cheeky pigs in blankets for them, for their roast. Ooh. I tell you what though, tomorrow morning, if you can film for me, Daddy, we've, gonna, we've got a new gadget, haven't we? Oh, have we? What's that then? We've got the, um, oh, <laughs> he's 
falling on my feet. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was funny. We've got a new, um, it makes uh, McMuffins, you know, like the McDonald's breakfast. It makes those. Ooh. So we've got one of those little machines. Um, so we can try those in the morning if um, there we go. Then. If you hang around, guys. We'll see but that. But yeah, in no, the morning, this, yeah, we'll see that in the morning. But this is today's dinner, I'm afraid. Okay. Which is a muffin maker. So this makes them like McDonald's. And George, our eldest, absolutely loves a McDonald's breakfast. But you know, there's five of us, and it gets quite expensive. So it's very rare we actually have one, and we have them that rare that actually George's birthday this year. He asked if he could go for McDonald's breakfast. Um, so we saw this, and it was twenty five pounds, which oh, I don't know. Sometimes I can be a bit tight. Um, but it had a reduced sticker underneath it, and it was down to seven pounds. So I thought oh, seven quid, 25 pounds. I, I wouldn't have bought it because it's not something we would use all the time and it's a bit of a waste for, for us because of how little we would use it. But I suppose you could say for all of us having a McDonald's breakfast, 25 quid to buy this would pay probably for most of us to have a breakfast. And then we've got it then, haven't we? Um, but yeah, so it's seven pounds. So I thought, oh, do you know what? Blow it. Let's let's get it. So I wanted to show you that because I thought that was such a good deal. And that, that was just a couple of days ago. So they might still have some in. Um, I know in our one in Elgin, they, they don't sell these. But the Inverness one, they had quite a lot in the set actually in the Inverness B&M. So I then went and brought some sausage patty things. Um, some cheese slices. Some muffins and um some eggs because i wasn't couldn't remember if we had any in the house so we're gonna quickly make one of these now so i thought i might show you a little bit of how easy it is i mean the instructions on it say i did see them yeah so it has got instructions there can you see um five steps one place bread base into the first ring followed by your choice of filling and then it does say that meat must be pre-cooked so um, I think what I'm going to do, these say you have to grill them. Yeah, grill from frozen for 9 to 11 minutes. So we've got the Kasori mini oven air fryer. So I'm going to pop those in there, I think, just to cook quickly. Then step two is lower the cooking plate. Second ring and crack an egg onto the cooking plate. Place bread on top, close the lid, cook for 45 minutes. Once cooked, rotate the cooking plate then open up and enjoy your assembled breakfast. So let me quickly, I haven't even opened this, so I hope it's all there and present and correct. Um, here we go. The seal looks to be intact, so let's have a look. I think what I'm gonna have to do is tip this out, aren't I? Was that a good idea? I'm not sure. Oh, yes, it was. Makes a change for me to have a good idea. <laughs> so, oh, here we go. A little bit of a beast, isn't it? Oh, and it comes with a little owner's manual. Yeah, so inside there are some pic picture instructions as well, which help a lot of people, don't they, to be fair? Oh, and it says care and maintenance. So bits of it, it looks like can go in the. Um, oh, excuse my fingernails. Look, they need they need sorted. Um, it looks like they can go in the dishwasher, which is handy. Although to be honest, if you wash it straight away, it it normally um, it's normally quite easy to clean, isn't it? And there is a troubleshooting page as well. Things like egg overcooked. Cooking time is approximately five minutes. Cooking time may vary if the size of your egg. Scrambled eggs. If you're using small eggs, scrambled or egg whites. Reduce cooking time for future recipes. Yeah, I mean, that's quite self-explanatory, isn't it? There's not a lot that can go wrong, is there? And it's things like um, egg undercooked, bread not toasted, egg overcooked, egg is leaking out of everything. <laughs> No one wants their egg to leak out of a ring, does that, do they? 
Um, right, let's have a look then. Oh, it's a bit fancy pants, isn't it? Okay. So, um, this is obviously the base plate that they refer to that you put your bread onto. Let's have a look at these instructions again. So, yeah. Place bread base onto the first ring, followed by your choice of filling. Now, in the picture, you have to pull this down. It shows you in the picture, if you can see there, that's pulled down. So you must have to have that down. So you put your bread in there, then your choice of filling. So for, for us, that's going to be our sausage patty, patty, whatever you called it. Um, step five is you then place the rotating ring. Oh, here it is. Look at that. That's fancy, isn't it? Place the rotating plate and top ring down as far as it will go to prevent the egg leaking crack your egg into the cooking plate so you crack your egg into here it does make quite a nice little click so you know that it's in there and then num so you've cracked your egg in here and then you place the top of the bread on top of the egg so just like that which seems would probably seem a bit strange doing that but that's what you do and um, so you put it on the raw egg and then close the lid and cook for four to five minutes do not push lid all the way down when loaded with ingredients. So I suppose if it go how how far it goes, that's that's how you how you leave it. So step seven is once finished. Shall I pull you up now? Oh, actually no, I might need to show you this bit. Once finished cooking, carefully rotate the cooking plate. So around here, there's a handle, which is the cooking plate, I guess. Is that what you put out? Oh no, the handle was around that side, wasn't it? So pull that out. And I guess you hold those into place. Oh, goodness me. So then, that side is the handle. And then it pulls out that way. So I then guess that slots the egg in and it's all fully assembled. And that's it. That's pretty much how simple it's supposed to be um now i am aware that i've already waffled on for nine minutes 10 actually now so what i'll do is i will get some patties cooked um okay so what i'll do now is i'll quickly go and get some um patties cooked in the kasori um I'm going to have to guesstimate the temperature because it just says a medium heat um, for a grill. So on the kasori, that's called broil, I think. I think that's maybe an American term, not 100% sure. Um, and yeah, I'll quickly show you bits of us doing this and then I'll show you the end result and see if it's a winner or a... Okay, catch you in a moment. Okay, so I've just put four patties, which fit quite nicely onto this... Um, baking tray you get in the kasori doodah the mini oven so i'm just going to put those in um put it onto broil now it comes up at 220 so i'm guessing that's maybe a, a high and it just says medium heat so i'm gonna i don't know take that down to 195 i reckon i think it says uh nine to eleven minutes so mm, no i'm gonna keep it at eight i think um, and then we'll pop those on. It's quite noisy, actually, this one. Um, so I'll pop those on, and I think Ben's just wiping down the... And here he is. Here's Benji. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Ben's... Have you wiped down the machine? I have. So, yeah, so it's all wiped down. We're going to assemble the rest of the ingredients, I think. Get everything prepared, laid out, ready to just make it a little bit easier. We'll feed the kids first. So we'll get that verdict first, I think. Okay. Right, so the patties are cooked. Um, we added just, we actually turned the temperature up to 200 when it was time to flip them. I just thought, mm, I think it's going a bit slow. Um, so I did just take the temperature up to 200 and that seemed to work fine on the amount of time we used. 
Okay, so the green indicator light has come on to show that it's got to temperature, it's ready to be used. Uh, it does also say in the instructions to grease or oil the plates. So I'm going to just spray a bit of oil in the bottom. I'm just going to wiggle that around a little bit. It's quite, um, feels quite flimsy, guys. I think that's where you can take it apart for washing. Anyway, I'm sure that'll spread itself out. So we're going to put in the base. Now I'm also going to put in the cheese slice because they do put a cheese slice in it in McDonald's, don't they? So that's gone in there. On with the sausage. Then I'm going to pull this one down. That's very warm, don't touch that like I just did. Now I'm gonna crack the egg in. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm just gonna move the yolk around a bit, not the yolk, the white. Get a bit of full coverage. And then I'm going to pop the top off. Now I should have probably put a bit of spray oil on there as well, but I just forgot. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, so just pop that on top. I'm going to close this down and leave it for four to five minutes. It says. So I'll set a timer, and then we'll see how that how that cooks and turns out. Right, our timer's just gone off, so we're going to rotate that out. Moment of truth. Looks good. Doesn't appear to have stuck, even though I forgot to grease that bit. And that definitely hasn't stuck. Let's get it on the plate. And then we can have a proper look. All right, let's make sure this egg's cooked. Oh, look at that. That has cooked really well, hasn't it? I'm going to pop a bit of tomato sauce in for James. <laughs> this is so warm, though. Jeremy doesn't need a lot, does he? We have to be careful cutting on mummy's plates, don't we? <laughs> Why do we have to be careful cutting on mummy's plates? Because they're rubbish. They're not rubbish! The kids hate that I love Emma Bridgewater so much. Right. Let's have a little look inside as well. Oh yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Are you going to tuck in, James? Make sure you give it a good blow. Warm. Mm. How is it? Tasty. Tasty. Maybe try and a bit from one of the corners, dude. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? Good. Yeah? Out of ten? Ten. Ten. You can see poor little James, he had chicken pox over Christmas, didn't you, James? So you're just getting over the spots, aren't you? But does the McDonald's breakfast help? Mummy and Daddy good chefs. Well, I think that's a win then, isn't it? None for you. <laughs> Can I have a drink? So, what does Emily think? She's gone without egg, haven't you? Boring. 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 What does she think? Good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Who's better, Mummy or McDonald's? Mummy! Emily! Mum, mum, mum. No pressure, Is it good then? Delicious. What's the verdict then, Schmerdick? What does it mean? What does it taste like? McDonald's. Is it good? How good is it? Out of ten. Ten. Is it just the same or a little bit different? Just the same. Just the same. But 
It's slimmer. That's it's slimmer. I have to say. Okay, so McDonald's ones are a bit fatter, you think? Oh, do you know why? Actually, you normally have a double, don't you? So oh. it normally has two bits of sausage in. Yeah, point. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't said. Subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Say it, guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs>